issues are going is very important that the public opinion is clearly important to convince the Italian authorities to move to a different direction, particularly American public opinion is of course the most important in the world. We're talking about this massive cruise industry, it's, it's hard to wish in a way. I, I see on the cover of your book that you said that you've got this giant cruise ship that dwarfs uh, the Doge's palace cutting right across in the basin in front of Campo San Marco. You know, I've been there and, and the ship is twice as tall as the Doge's palace. Now, of course that brings in thousands of tourists that just stampede in and then they stampede out. They don't spend dinner and they don't spend the night there. They don't leave a lot of money. It also has an impact, I believe, on the fragile ecosystem of the lagoon. What is the impact of these huge cruise ships on the fragile ecosystem of the lagoon that Venice has to live in balance with? These this huge mega ships discharge a lot of, of material, such as benzopyrene, which is being very dangerous. It's very, very difficult to get official statistics about what they are doing. But according to some statistics published by, by local association for the defense of the environment, it, it seems that certain forms of cancer are more frequent in Venice than elsewhere in the same region. And this is certainly one point. Another point is that by moving water in uh, the lagoon, those gigantic cruise ships are actually changing the, the balance between uh, the lagoon and the many, many islands, not just those on, on which Venice is being. The many, many islands that are on the lagoon itself. So the, the daily movement of the waters is contributing to eroding the stability of Venice's thousands or millions of on which the city is being built. I, I know for the case of Rome and for Florence, many cruise visitors come, but the, the ships are moored or parked far away, a two-hour bus ride away. Perhaps Venice could have the cruise industry but eliminate the downside that the ships are causing to the lagoon if the ships were parked further out. Yes, this is one possible solution that has been recommended by, by many people. According to, to some uh, recommendation, we said that Venice, uh, those ships should go to Trieste and then tourists should come to Venice with their on smaller ships. That's one of many possible solutions. Mimi, thanks for your call. You're welcome. Thank you. This is Travel with Rick Steves. We're speaking with Dr. Salvatore Settis. His book is If Venice Dies.